good peoples and welcome back another crazy tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to set up the multi weapon ping system and we are going to do lots of thing more so let's get started the first thing is uh i'm going to change the weapon mesh uh so in my previous videos i just used the one m416 so i'm going to just replace that with some new m416 mesh and it's have now more good uvs and also i am going i already add the akm also they all have uh, basically different types of gun skin like you can find this m1 m2 and m3 okay it will look super great and that is the same for the m416 also you'll find something like this and even this and this also okay it will be look totally next level okay now we have already have our new model so the first what i'm going to do i will first change this thing which are, what we already using that is our weapon bp so i'm going to change that to uh even we don't even change that we can create multiple instance but uh what i'm going to do is this is a basically the master one and i'm going to change this mesh okay because i changed the pivot point so here's a new m416 okay so this is a and compile save and because it's changed basically the location so even I, if i try to uh, pick up this uh, it will be always attached in the wrong position okay because my stock location is changed so i need to now again uh, reset up that so what you need to do just go to preview animation cc and what we did with this one we, need, we not just need to replace that so remove stock or even remove the child or if it's not removing you can just remove all and simple click and add and here's a new akm so first let's try with the akm adjust if it's work so then it's good okay so we need to just do some little bit adjustment and it will look great uh now we have discord channel so you can join there and also you have any type of question or if you want to send me any look you can just go there and join and you can send me also we have telegram channel so you can join there too you can follow us in our facebook page or visit my profile and you can download my game from google play store if you have any personal project or you want to just send me personally something so you can send me gmail on my gmail id also in lincoln you can get my paid course from udemy link in the description below also you get my plugins assets and other stuff in my epic marketplace account link in the description below And I set up that for enough accurately. Mm, yeah, it's looking great. Now let me just get that in my second monitor. And if I try to now play, uh, let's see. Yeah, the, because I set up the uh, the pivot point um, both time in a same location so that's why uh, whatever gun it is it will be work same okay uh, but let me try with one more time uh, let me just get some confirm that it's attaching on right position yeah guys it's attaching on the right position pretty enough but as you can see some of cases the hand is moving uh, once some are uh, sitting on town but on up it's quite enough okay so, okay so that is a basically uh, depends on your hand like how you hold so that is also great there's a more terms of issue okay now we uh, we fixed this thing so we can now remove our old mesh so i'm not going to use uh, more this rifle uh, uh, m4 so i'm just going to simple click on delete and once i click on delete now I can go to my material section and then on this that G mat so I can delete the G mat 3 because it, it will be not effect but yeah the G mat that is the master one it will be affect all of them so I can't delete that 
but we can delete others like this is a AKM, AKM2, AKM3, uh, AKM mat. Aha. Uh -huh. Not should be there. Uh, AKM mat. Let me check. This is an instance or this is the master one. This is have and this is the basically instance. Oh, okay. I got it. So basically this akm mat have this uh, instance okay it's basically it's uh, some of cases some of them using the gmat okay that is this one so i can remove the this one oh it's crashed oh sorry because i am using that mesh already and that's why it's basically cra crashed so, okay so for fixing this thing what you need to do the first on the material section just go to the mesh okay by default it's basically using this material so i need to just simply first of all re, re, uh, reset that material okay so go to material section replace with m1 and now i can delete that so it will be don't show me any issue will be do the same process for our m416 because it's also using the default mat so let's go to material section and this is our m416 uh mat and this is the default one so similarly removed okay so this is the basically the all type of gun skins and the texture uh, i create some more texture like this so it will look great now what will we do simply uh, we have now our new mesh and also we have basically uh, if I tell we have now our M416 and AKM so last we need to do a simple uh, stuff that we need to go to our because I import them freshly so now I need to reset up the collision so, so first remove the collision and then again we need to set with a complex one because we'll be in a future we'll create the drop system so we must need high quality collision then we will do the same thing for our M416 just simply remove that collision and then we'll be put our m416 on the collision sector and set it to complex and once we do everything saved all okay now we have everything ready so now we can continue our main core part that is let's create the more multiple weapon picking system okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to just simply go to blueprint class items and the first let me also open my player pp because we need our player pp so let me just review the code again the pickup system is working depends on the weapon reference uh, and that is if it's equal same it's basically adding and it's casting that uh, the bp and it's basically attaching okay so at here there's nothing specify that this is m4 or whatever it is so we can use this feature uh, so we can go to blue pin and we can call that to bp and master class so this is going to be our master class so master and now from that we can create basically the instance so just uh, let's create the uh, bp m416 ins that is the basically the instance and then if i double click so we, at there we don't need to do anything because it's it's basically whatever will be do change in our master it will be to automatically apply at here so we need just in you know, one more create class and we'll be having give it name at bp uh akm uh akm uh then ins that is the basically instance uh will we do the same thing for this one uh let me just remove that ins okay so oh sorry 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 the ins should be a small letter okay now everything is great now on our akm section just go to the select the mesh and even if you want you can move the whole mesh and you can put the original mesh whatever you want so by default it's if it's not changing so you can choose that and then you can basically put the akm but make sure the name will be never change so because it's basically coming from the variable section or uh, from the variable that's why so we can't change that so uh, but you can do that at here like if you go to the 
uh, items um, I guess it's not basically confusing so you can put the name that uh, weapon okay it will be work like you can write weapon if you don't want to become confused so what it will do it will be to always show the weapon okay even in, in an instance of the m416 it will also show weapon okay because this is a master class basically okay now you have a question bro this is a master class are it possible to uh, because we not, we create the two different types of gun right now a 141 m416 and a uh AKM and uh, M4 uh, AKM weapon. So uh, it will be work the system. Yes, let me show you why. Because this is it's calling the master class for now. It's not calling. Uh, so we can set it to master because it's not calling that specific instance. It's calling the father basically. So if that if we can call the father the fa with that father reference, we can call his child also. So that is a basically the logic. So uh, if I remove that and if I get my AKM and my M416 so if I click on play and if I go near of that it should be as you can see it's showing me the same thing and if I click I can pick that even if I show you for the AKM uh, yeah as you can see it's showing also for me AKM and yeah uh, it's working pretty same okay now we already get that how we how can basically set up this now <laughs> will be do one more stuff what kind of stuff that is uh because we have now the m416 or whatever weapon it is okay so what we do is we, we can because because it's basically calling so now we need to switch up we need to create basically the switch up system now what is the basically switch up system is basically it's calling the master reference okay so now I, I even i have also questioned that uh which type of uh, weapon it is are it's coming that is specific instance name or not so let me just get uh, display name or we can set up that display name so then we can do a print string like which type of gun it's picking let me just track uh sorry for I, let me just check uh, it's calling that in a master or it's doing uh, on no it's working what i want m416 and an instance akm okay good it's basically calling that the specific instance depends on the master so that's what i need okay so because because we can specify that this is the m4 or whatever it is so with that now we can basically specify okay so in the item name okay i'll be just simply because this is exposed and pawn so if i choose this one it, there should be also come so i need to just can change easily that akm just let me just write that akm pro so it should be also send that data that akm pro yep akm pro now what it will do uh in the instant uh, the master material i will be set a one more value if it is equals akm or if it's equals uh m416 or whatever it is it will be put that a texture inside of that so basically what will we do is uh, okay let me do one more uh, let me check one more stuff just so simply go to our blueprints then ui class so in the ui item what is basically displaying okay so it's basically getting that weapon master reference from that it's basically name okay that's good so we can set up here the basically the texture and there should be texture 2d i guess it's called so texture 2d yep texture 2 a uh, texture 2d object reference compile and save it and set it to uh we don't need to set it to editable and exposed on pawn on the event begin play will be just simply get the name and now basically there's a little bit of problem will become uh like it's an m416 so we'll we user need to you know our developers need to manually uh, specify this is a akm or whatever it is so uh i'm going to disable that permission okay okay <laughs> like yeah i'm going to, i need to disable that permission or otherwise there's a conflict will become just suppose this is a basically uh the item name okay and uh if you go to our instance class like on the blueprint section and the play uh, sorry in the item section so 
because the user can change the data or the developer can simply change data from here so i need to stop that because otherwise if it's not match because uh, i guess every time it should be come with this oh no as you can see it's basically changing because it's a amp 416 instance and this is something else that is the basically uh, issue so if i go to instance i i suppose that i can't use that variable yeah this is uh the instance will be always come from there so that is the basically issue okay so what i can do right now i mean i'm not sure okay so we can create a uh, element for this one so user can uh, we can basically specify okay or even we can use this method but this is a kind of like a complex or okay sometimes with that cause problem because if it's the name is not same the item display will be never show okay but for now let's skip this part and let me just put that if it's akm pro okay so then at the texture so let's say that weapon texture and then we'll be set it to instant editable uh, we can just set it to editable but at here i'll be set the brush basically set brush brush from texture or you can search set texture object i guess it's called brush am i right we or i guess we can basically set it am i right yep we can basically set it we don't need to do this okay so at here if it's that so it will be set that akm logo or otherwise if it's not akm pro so it should be set up the m416 okay like this one this texture so uh, we can call that basically in our ui section and we can display that so just go to now the ui items and because in the button i guess from the button we can set br b u set texture now i'm i don't know how i can basically put the image inside of that uh it should be come with brush set img or set background color this is basically it's coming the background color uh normal image nor that is the basically now the problem uh even i don't know uh, on player is uh should be come with set background style make a, a brush wow normal i guess from that i can make a yes brush from texture that's i'm basically looking okay so on hover it will, it will be look phrase disable normal pending oh it will be not work from normal pending okay hmm, there's no issue so uh for the texture the white and height i need to adjust so the white is basically x is 400 and the height is 100 uh, 180 so 180 by 400 and i'll be set the texture from our weapon okay so simply choose that like this and the texture because we need the texture so we'll be get weapon weapon uh or i guess we can search texture what i what I, did i say that weapon texture yep i said that compile save um, saved all your item if it's calling oh oh I, I got it so basically i need to do from here that texture yep now it's coming i am just calling that from my astra class though that's why uh, i'm calling for my you know for my player bp that's why okay so now i can easily connect like this it should be now work so let me try yep m416 and this is uh come on hey what's doing yes akm you can see that 
our system is totally 100% working guys this is our m4 this is our akm basically bro uh now you have a question bro for matches how we can do change dynamically so you can create you know multiple texture and multiple uh, material materials for setup for and i'm just you know leaving like that in our last will be upgrade that i will be fix or improve that okay so now we create this system as usual we we have now this stuff a cam pro and other stuff so save that and save all now what we basically need we you know we all reserve the most uh, important parts the logics of today's video like just suppose that we have go here you can dynamically change the texture with automatically when we can create the multiple already the multiple token system is working now we need to create the second logic that if we have multiple weapon okay like suppose i have already a gun and if i go near of another gun it should be so what will we do is uh it should be show uh, like if it's overlapping basically so at that time what will we do is uh you know i can pick that too so this uh, as you can see let me now checking my overlapping system i did that on it's basically set up in that and once it's set up it's basically if it's valid even it, it should be connect with a not valid oh yeah sh sorry it should be connected with valid and if it's valid for each loop it will be add that unique item on my this post and if it's already exist in that specific item for complete okay i guess i need to connect that with my loop if it's false if it's already not added with on our inventory for each loop then it should be add I and mean, it's already exists we don't need to add that let's check it should be work Mm, nope it's not working how it's guessing that we already have that item like okay let me uh, even begin play let me clear my data that in the array of this and not should have any data so clear that all child data I'll save okay but I trying to pick up it's saying that hello by right, showing hello to which purpose I add the, the, the hello no oh, no if it's executing okay now let me try if it's that have that weapon so no display name let me just display that item like which type of item i have that already is saying that i have in my inventory so as you can see it's saying that no we don't have anything but i'm not sure why that uh, this idiot logic working it's valid if it's uh, from that array it's basically try to get the, the master reference on editable uh that it's basically try to verify if in the loop there's anything exists with that name uh i can call i guess i need to do more specify so instead of that let's add our this one let's contain this equals So if that equals that content at that time it should be to this if it's equals equals then it's saying should should be show that name if it's not then it should be add with a unique id let's check no it's a 
saying it don't have any display not sure how it's getting that even it's not clicking guys like suppose if it's working it should be even press hello world okay so for a loop what i'm pressing is not valid let me date a string that no data if i don't have any data in my variable now i have data in my variable i'm for looping it should be show that data what kind of actor it is it's a, it's a actor uh because it's a actor let me change that data to weapon master bp so i'm basically specifying the class right now so at here on my time ah now this is a new issue wow okay let me fix this issue and then i'll show you the uh, solution welcome back our another crazy tutorial video and i've just fixed simply that logic okay like why it's not basically working last video so basically the looping is not working unfortunately i don't know why but it's not working so you just add with complete and the multiple weapon picking system will be work like it should be when we have event with that even if i go near of that any other weapon we can pick that so now we need to create that logic okay that is our today's tutorial part that if we have already a weapon in our hand so the second i uh the weapon should be attached with our backside so simply go to the mesh and a skeleton and preview asset cc and uh, now instead of our back cc we need to create another stock basically okay so simply okay, let's get to i guess three will be great so add a stroke and let's give it that u h that is you no know, i know what what i can say uh basically this is work like use uh our h r that is hold rifle so simply i can now preview akm i'm just preview with akm because the akm and rifle will work same so now we need to just do some adjustment uh okay i guess it will be look great <laughs> i'm not sure but it will be look great okay copy that hr now what we need if that stock is already full we need to you know we need to add us in our second stock so let me do one let me check uh, i stop that socket so get with this socket socket what i can get let me check the socket get all socket names attach sockets name uh location rotation between socket touch name uh basically what i want if it's you know kind of like empty by default uh if there's a way to verify like which which socket i had if it's attached that or not uh, get attach parent i guess we can uh, get some data from here get Uh, uh socket name get attached socket name yep i want that and for loop if it's 
already equals with u r okay so basically what i'm going to do if it's already contain u r like socket already there's a, a touch item have if it's true so then it's not should be do that and if it's not true at that time it should be do this uh the mesh and the parent and the collision the collisions logic will be same Just simply oh, sorry uh, copy paste and copy paste collision should be that weapon also disable uh, the at here we need to give here the our hr that is or basically the hr reference if it's basically already there's some weapon is already attached if it's not then it should be do this let me check if this logic work even i'm not sure okay it's picked second nope it's attached with that uh so cast to return value touch socket u r u r uh -huh. now there's a uh, you know confused basically i am how can i verify that if that uh, which i attach if it's already content or not or otherwise we can do with a number variable uh like if it's attached basically okay so like we can remove this logic and now we can give that post number that weapon weapon post up oh, weapon post oh, so what i already create a position in the integer unique id uh oh sorry so then i need to give that socket weapon pose that is the position number and it should be an integer so let me just convert to a integer value so will be said that if it's that that will be set to one and at the socket will be verify if it's equals uh one then it should be to connect with the h if it's not then do this okay and then if it's uh, also do this so then the weapon item should be two so it's mean that we have all the socket complete so our player can't be able so i'll do one more stuff like if the socket equals that two so then it's mean that we can't pick up more weapon so we have you know limitation of weapon picking so we'll be said that print string oh sorry uh limited weapon we can display name that limited weapon weapon uh weapons so play if i try to pick we can pick second time uh it's did but it's basically attached the wrong one the complete is basically i guess uh because it's completing so it's basically attaching my all that item with that specific so i don't want that oh man that is the most confusing part now i need to solve this logic too like <clears throat> with that weapon is basically if it's attached with our hand then it should be go you know with our hands and then if it's not it should be get that and basically you know it should be attached with our back body bone so that is the basic system so first time it's not should be only do that uh-huh so i have the idea let me just try that okay so just look the weapon speaking system is super complex system so basically what i can do here we can create some very vari uh, variable like weapon first so get so we 
we can convert that to weapon master bp so we can put here anything and we'll be create one more but we'll be give it to s and that is second second socket so basically what will we do uh if that true or false okay if it's two or one depends on that the first socket uh will be attached that and the second socket will be should be attached this one now that is basically confusing you know and because i don't want to put my second two socket at here so that is the basically that's why i'm trying to use that loop in idiot but the loop is not working why 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 that stupid loop is not working at here uh so that's the result i guess that is will work same there's a nothing change but i want to give it a try so suppose i have the AKM so if I try to take M4 it's in big but for loop socket one socket two oh i already targeted that so i need to do one time not multiple time m4 it came it didn't attach but it switched that's what i don't want uh why the loop is not working okay guys give me some time to fix this or figure out once it's figured i'll be show you now we have discord channel so you can join there and also you have any type of question or if you want to send me any look you can just go there and join and you can send me also we have telegram channel so you can join there too you can follow us in our facebook page or visit my profile and you can download my game from google play store if you have any personal project or you want to just send me personally something so you can send me gmail on my gmail id also in lincoln you can get my paid course from udemy link in the description below also you get my plugins assets and other stuff in my epic marketplace account link in the description below